Please take care of yourself and each other. Good night. <laughs> Letters from Sing Sing, an NBC News podcast. Listen now. Tonight, 8, 7 Central, the final blind auditions bring out the biggest voices, the biggest surprises, and the biggest... Well... That's a big finger, and it's one of the bigger fingers I've seen. The Voice, all new tonight. Sexual assault of an 11-year-old. No prison time. He raped a military veteran. Left her for dead just two and a half years. Raped a mentally disabled 14-year-old. Probation. How the heck did this happen? Janet Protasiewicz. If you could go back in time, would you have ruled any differently? I would say no. Really? No time in prison? I would say no. Protasiewicz set violent criminals free. Again and again. Tell Judge Protasiewicz, stop protecting criminals. When you need help feeding your family, call the Family Food Helpline. Straight ahead, detecting a fire before it spreads can save a life. We'll explain how to keep your family and home safe. Plus, it's hard to find housing in rural areas. We'll have a look at the problems northern Wisconsin is facing. And Judge Mary Burns is running to keep her Oneida County court seat. We'll introduce you to her as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Jessica Jukic. And I'm Dan Hagen. House fires can be a traumatic experience for families. Having a working smoke alarm can prevent a fire or even save a life. But making sure a smoke alarm works isn't as simple as replacing the battery every few years. The alarms themselves don't last forever. According to the Wisconsin State Fire Inspectors Association, there were 40 home fire deaths in the state in 2021. Cooking, smoking, and heat up heating appliances are some of the top causes of house fires. Mike Sippen from the Arbor Vita Fire Department says it's important to replace your smoke alarm every 10 years. Uh, because of the functions of the smoke detector, the manufacturers have come up with about a 10-year lifespan when they recommend to have them replaced. Over the years, perhaps just from sitting there accumulating dust, the components wear out, they die out, they may not operate. The best places to put a smoke alarm is in each bedroom, outside each sleeping area, and on every level of the home, including the basement. Sippin says death from a house fire is 55% higher when a smoke alarm doesn't work or is not present. It's a very alarming number and it's something that we as the fire service and everybody has to do a better job of, of really promoting. And at a bare minimum, have a working smoke detector because it can and will make a, make a difference. If you cannot afford a smoke detector, check with your local fire department to see if they have a program available for lower income residents. It's the first day of spring, even though there's plenty of snow outside. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us with a first look at our forecast. Jeff? Yeah, we're about 90 minutes into spring right now, and temperatures hanging out in the 30s and a couple 40s out there today. But the back edge of the clouds is right there right now. We have some clear skies across the area tonight. 34 currently in Rhino, the average high being 40, a northeast breeze around 5, and the dew point there, dry air at 16 over in Wausau. It's 43 for you uh, with a calm wind at the airport and a pressure there of 29.95. All right, so around the horn, below freezing here, well above freezing here, and then tomorrow, we're actually all going to cool off just a bit as a cold front's kind of seeping across our area right now, and that will set the stage for some snow showers tomorrow night. So lots of probably cloudy skies out there right now. This is all snow on the ground across the Midwest. Our next system, though, is over here. It's that one or part of it. That's going to bring us some snow showers tomorrow night into early parts of Wednesday morning. Our forecast then for tonight, though, we're talking about partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies for a while. There could be a flurry out there. Look for low temperatures down near 14. Your full forecast is coming up, Dan. Governor Evers wants to expand gun background checks through his biennial budget proposal. The governor is proposing that all handgun purchases and transfers with certain exceptions require background checks through a federally licensed gun dealer. Last year, the Wisconsin Department of Justice approved more than 177,000 gun requests and denied more than 2,000 requests. Since 2014, the Wisconsin DOJ has denied 1% of handgun purchases after background checks. The reasons for denying gun purchases ranged from court orders, mental health, warrants, felony convictions, or misdemeanor convictions.
The number of emergency teaching licenses in Wisconsin have nearly tripled over the past decade. A new report by the Wisconsin Policy Forum found the Department of Public Instruction issued more than 3,100 emergency licenses for the 2021-22 school year. That's an increase of more than 2,000 licenses since the 2012-13 school year. Emergency licenses are issued when the school districts cannot find teachers licensed by DPI to fill a position. The Wisconsin Policy Forum says the report suggests schools are facing increasing challenges from staffing shortages and high turnover. The classified ads in the Northwoods have plenty of jobs available, but few ads for available housing. Local business owners might be able to offer desirable positions, but those workers need a place to live. Cecily Dawson is a realtor with Lakeland Realty in northern Wisconsin. She says there's only 28 single-family homes under $400,000 in Oneida County. Add that to the lack of rental properties available, and you'll start to get a picture of the housing issues facing the area. The rental opportunities are lower than they used to be, which is, you know, spurs that question, which is how are we going to create more housing in our community? Because that's really the bottom line. Building new homes and apartments seems like an easy solution, but it would take time. Jim Rosenberg is the regional director with the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, and he shares what some employers are choosing to do instead. Renovating the building and also put uh, a couple of housing units upstairs, apartments. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's kind of small and kind of incremental, but everything counts when, you, when we're working on this problem. Altering an existing building isn't always possible due to local zoning laws. Rosenberg says vacation rentals likely are taking away from available homes and rentals. Last year, longtime Oneida County Judge Patrick O'Melia retired from the bench, which led the way for Mary Burns to be appointed by Governor Tony Evers. Now, with only two weeks before the spring election, Burns is running to keep her seat on the bench, but first she'll need to defeat challenger Michael Sheik. All week long, our own Kyle Pazorski is presenting a series of special reports on the two candidates and joins us now, Kyle. Well, thank you, Dan and Jessica. Last week, I sat down one-on-one -on -one with both candidates, current Judge Mary Burns and District Attorney Michael Sheik, to discuss their backgrounds and why they th I think they are fit to serve Oneida County. Tonight, as part of our Meet the Candidates series, we're introducing you to Judge Mary Burns. I'm very honored to be uh, the judge here, and I intend to stay a long time. In August of last year, Mary Burns was appointed as the judge for Oneida County Circuit Court Branch 1. She is now running to retain her position in the spring election. It's not a stepping stone to anywhere. It's the pinnacle, in my opinion, in Oneida County. It's a position she holds in very high regard. I do feel like I have an ethical obligation to uh, the citizens of Oneida County to, uh, so that they have confidence in the courts. Burns grew up in Wausau, later attending the University of Wisconsin, where she earned a degree in art education. She says throughout her early life, she considered a career in law before choosing a different path. It got to be uh, the point where I could uh, think about what I might do in the future, and I'd wanted to be a lawyer when I was a little girl, but ended up being a teacher instead. After Burns' daughters moved away to college, she turned her attention back to her childhood ambitions, returning to UW, earning her law degree. I took the law school admissions test, and I got my um, law school degree. I became a public defender, and I worked for 15 years, almost 15 years as a public defender. She says that her time as a public defender, which included work establishing a drug court in Vias County, has prepared her to be a judge. I've got a lot of different life experience because I haven't been an attorney my whole life. And I also have the drug court experience and the determination to set up a drug court. And now, like a classic court challenge, Burns hopes to fend off Michael Sheik, someone who she's grown familiar with over the years and during her short time as judge. I've worked with him for many years as the defense attorney, and he's the DA, always respectful. We see each other in court. We see each other in the hallway. I talk to him at, at a Kiwanis event. Um, we get along very well. Tomorrow night, we will hear from Michael Sheik, the current district attorney and Burns' opponent. Then on Wednesday, we will hear from Judge Burns again on how her experience as defense attorney plays a role in her courtroom. The spring election is on April 4th. Dana, Jessica. Thank you, Kyle. A nature center in Manitowish Waters is nearing its grand reopening. Coming up after the break, we'll learn about the ambitious and exhibits planned for the North Lakeland Discovery Center. That's after weather with Jeff, right here on Newswatch 12. This
portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Everything got bigger and smaller at the same time. Insurance, accounting, and taxes can get complicated. So you need someone who's looking to keep every dollar possible in your pocket. Ag Country. the Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and receive free carpet installation along with an additional $300, $600, or even $1,000 of savings on all flooring products and sale prices. That's right, free carpet installation and an additional savings of up to $1,000 on top of the sale prices. See why contractors and designers only choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. Our prices will flow. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Sheriffs like us from around the state are supporting Daniel Kelly for Wisconsin Supreme Court. Justice Kelly's opponent, Janet Protosewitz, is a Milwaukee County judge with a long history of letting dangerous criminals back into our streets. Directly undermining the work of our officers and putting your family at risk. We can't afford to have judges who put their own agendas above the law. It's time we start prioritizing justice again, not politics. Vote Daniel Kelly for Wisconsin Supreme Court. Well, we made it. Happy spring. The vernal equinox today, equal parts day and night across our region today. And yeah, for us, we have some more snow showers on the way. Not so much tonight, more so tomorrow night into Wednesday. And there are a chance probably getting in here over the weekend as well. So overall, you know, we're not quite done with the snow yet, but we will get there eventually. Outside currently, the sun is setting and the temperature is 34 in Rocklander with a northeast breeze around 5 and a dew point there is 16. Dry air locked in place over at Wausau, 4. 43 for you, a calm wind there with that dew point at 20. The pressure steady at 29.95 around the horn, well below freezing here, above freezing still here. There's a cold front kind of right in there, drifting like really slowly south tonight. That will set the stage for a cooler day tomorrow, and then some snow showers arrive tomorrow night. The average high is 40, the average low 19, their record low 20 below back in 1965, and the sun sets later on at 710. All right, let's check on the percentage. Precipitation and of course 95.5 inches of snow so far this snow season puts us in fifth place for snowiest winters on record and we do have some more snow in the seven day forecast. All right, temperature wise 34 tomorrow. Okay, cooler, right? 43 for Wednesday. We're going to melt some snow Wednesday afternoon. 36 Thursday. The overall again, the average high being 40. We're going to hang out close to that. So we're kind of turning a bit of a corner in terms of temperatures We're nothing really cold or warm on the way for us anytime soon. There is some snowfall on the way though, so not so much uh, tonight, although there could be a couple of snow flurries in there tonight, uh, but watch this area here, right? So over here, that's coming our way, but by midday tomorrow, uh, there'll be enough forcing in the atmosphere. A little band right there could give us a few flurries or sprinkles around three o'clock tomorrow. That's going to lift north rather quickly. Here comes the main event. Overnight, tomorrow night, could be a couple hours of moderate snowfall in there with rain further south across Marathon, Portage, and Wood counties. That quickly gets out of here as well. Most of the computer models now want to give us a one to three inch snowfall. The Euro has been really 
good this winter in predicting snowfall. It's thinking 2.4, so we'll see. But overall, you get the idea. A widespread 1 to 3 inch snowfall for us uh, tomorrow evening into the early parts of Wednesday. And snowfall wise, here we go. So again, we're at 95.5. We need 99.9 .9 to make it into fourth place. Will we do that tomorrow night? Most likely not around here. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is lots of clouds out there. A couple of flurries can't be ruled out with low temperatures down near 14 for tomorrow. All right, so lots of clouds again. Some late afternoon snow showers and drizzle in there with high temperatures near 34. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northern Furniture and Mattress shows that snow arrives for us tomorrow evening into Wednesday morning. Again, a one to three inch snowfall more as you go north. Thursday, Friday, Saturday are probably quiet. Uh, weekend temperatures right now look to land in the 40s. Dan? New research shows the potential harm so-called forever chemicals can have on a child's development. The chemicals, often referred to as PFAS, are found in many everyday products like fast food wrappers or carpet and can usually even be detected in people's blood. Researchers studied these compounds in young children, teens, and young adults and found PFAS can affect their growth and development. Specifically, the chemicals can disrupt how the body makes and uses proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. And too much exposure could lead to obesity, liver disease, diabetes, or possibly cancer. The EPA recently announced new proposed rules to strictly control the levels of some of these chemicals in drinking water around the country. A new era for the North Lakeland Discovery Center in Manitouish Waters is just around the corner. The site will unveil a new nature center this spring. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver spoke with volunteers who are busy putting the exhibits together and joins us. Matt? Well, that's right, Dan and Jessica. The center will be the only one of its kind for the Northwoods. Locally sourced and funded, the site has more than just live animals and mounted creatures. It's kind of a relief to see some of this stuff coming together at this point. Exhibits for the North Lakeland Discovery Center's New Nature Center are being installed ahead of its grand opening this May. You can see we're going to have some trees in here as well as some mounts of wildlife that'll be, that'll be set across the top of this. There's a tunnel that runs through underneath that we think kids may enjoy climbing through that and we're going to have a little bubble that they can pop their head out and be part of the display. Interactive displays will try to make learning easy for young ones. So we've got this spiral staircase that's going to be encased to look like a tree that's going to go up to a simulated eagle's nest. There's an area on the outside of the building so it's going to be there's going to be a lot to do and a lot of things for kids to experience. For those preparing the site, the displays aren't the only thing being localized. They use wood from across the Northwoods as siding. So that's something really fun for visitors to come in. They can try to identify the woods and see if they get it right. And um, that'll make it, uh, that brings that interactive piece that we're trying to shoot for. The center includes a rig built by an instructor named Ferdy when the center opened 25 years ago. He was teaching three other local um, gentlemen about how to build the canoe and um, they took those skills and were able to build their own afterwards. And so now we have that as a piece of our history here in the Nature Center, which is really important. The goal of these displays, keep Northwoods history alive. We'll be able to teach um, the community here for generations to come, which is really important um, to leave that legacy behind. In Manitowoc Waters, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. Can't wait for that to open. Thank you, Matt. The DNR is researching the state's only fully aquatic salamander. And construction is underway at Lambeau Field in Green Bay. We'll have a look at the renovations after the break. Dan Kelly is extremely corrupt. Six times Kelly ruled in favor of a plaintiff with close ties. He was on their advisory panel. He took contributions from their board. And all six times Kelly ruled in their favor. Another time, Kelly changed his mind about whether to judge the Zignego case after pocketing $20,000 in contributions from the Zignego family. Corruption, extremism, that's Dan Kelly. Is a new roof on your spring to-do list? Hi, I'm Paul, owner of Overhead Solutions. Now is a great time to think ahead and secure a spot for that replacement on our schedule. Go ahead and call our competitors, but before you sign on that dotted line, Call Overhead Solutions. I believe our high quality and fair price can beat our competition. Call Overhead Solutions for a free roof estimate. Remember, don't overpay. Call Overhead. Overhead Solutions. 
Slumberland and get 20% off our beautiful new furniture and decor during our spring spruce up event. We've got fresh new looks, like sleek new upholstery for your living area, plus extra discounts on recliners, patios, Sealy mattresses, and sectionals, including our new super versatile modular sectional. Get an extra 20% off Slumberland low prices during our spring spruce up event right now at Slumberland Furniture. And check out our easy new mattress rating system to get you in your perfect bed. Hit the ground running in the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet. Like the Pilot and Passport Trail Sport. Or the Ridgeline, made more rugged with better off-road performance. And more capable with different driving modes available to conquer snow, mud, and sand. Adventure on in a Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Tonight, 8, 7 Central, the final blind auditions bring out the biggest voices, the biggest surprises, and the biggest, well... That's a big finger, and it's one of the bigger fingers I've seen. The Voice, all new tonight, 8, 7 Central, on NBC. I would like to begin treatments immediately. This is an asylum. You're a monster, and you need to be stopped. <laughs> Quantum Leap, tonight on NBC. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. The Wisconsin DNR is studying the state's only fully aquatic salamander. The DNR is researching mud puppies and say they are historically understudied. The Natural Resources Foundation of Wisconsin says mud puppies are at risk of a decline across the state. The foundation donated $5,000 to the DNR to help research the aquatic salamander. They want to learn more about where mud puppies used to be found and where they're now found. The DNR says mud, mud puppy research could provide clues on how other species deal with climate change. The NFL offseason means construction season for Lambeau Field, and those driving by may have seen some big changes. Cranes were recently used to take down the video and scoreboards at both ends of the stadium. The old video boards had the main video section, an ad board on each side, and a listing of all the years the team has won a championship. The expectation is that the new video boards will be bigger with the video section of the boards taking up the entire space of the old ones. The money for the new video boards for the 2023 season comes from the Packers' recent stock sale. We'll be right back after the break. Dan Kelly and his friends are lying about Judge Janet Protosawitz. He wants to scare you because he can't talk about his own record. Dan Kelly has never sentenced a single criminal to prison. Not one. That's a fact. And as a private attorney, Kelly got rich defending sex predators who posed as youth ministers to sexually assault young girls. That's the truth. The bottom line is that Dan Kelly won't keep our community safe. He's an extremist who doesn't care about us. Menke Automotive is your new neighbor in central Wisconsin, so now you've got a friend in the auto business. Menke Automotive prides ourselves on having happy employees because happy employees make for happy customers. When you need a new Buick, GMC, or Mazda, expert service, precision body work, or just a hot cup of coffee, come in and get to know us at Menke Automotive at the old Fred Miller location on Grand Avenue in Schofield. Menke Automotive, your new neighbors in central Wisconsin. I'm with Paul Delahunt, president of Renewal by Anderson. So, Paul, how do you know your Fibrex window is going to hold up over time? Well, Dean is the full-service replacement division of Anderson. Longevity is in our DNA. But last year, we conducted a long-term durability study. After two decades, our windows were as easy to open and close as the day they were installed. If you're looking for a replacement window solution that's going to last, look no further than Renewal by Anderson. Call now to schedule your free in-home consultation and take advantage of this limited-time offer. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Get 11% off your next bathroom project at Menards. A brand new Magic Woods vanity is the perfect addition to your bathroom. Magic Woods offers innovative trend-setting styles that will surely bring your vision to life. Get this Brighton bathroom vanity for $229.97 after rebate. Compliment your new look with Lions. Menards carries a great selection of Lions tubs and showers that will match your style and your budget. Right now, all Lions bathing solutions are 11% off. Save big money at Menards. I was in the hospital for a month. I really got to understand 
what <clears throat> what a nurse is. Do they do they focus on you? You know, do they make sure that you're comfortable? And you know, that's what Chai has. It's the connection that he has. You know, my best interest in mind always. Why wait another day? Let's take the next step together towards a better life. You're watching NBC 12, your home for dramas, game shows, comedies, and sports. NBC 12, from where you live. Dan and Jeff, I love using the crock pot. This weekend was busy for me. I made sauerkraut and kielbasa and pot roast. Then I had a few ripe bananas, and I decided to make some banana bread. It all turned out really good. That what? sounds lovely. Yeah. to you. you I know, just wanted what? some home cooking. You Sauerkraut know? is supposed to be very good for your gut health because oh. there's a lot of... Uh, probiotics? That's maybe. Is that the word I'm looking for? Prebiotics, yeah. probiotics, that's one of the two. Yeah, I just like the taste. All, all right, tasty. well, how, everything turned out great. Yeah, the pictures look amazing, so nice job Thanks. with that. All right, also a nice job with the weather, kind of. Like, first day of spring today, uh, central Wisconsin has temperatures in the 40s, the rest of us not so much. Here we are going north though to Houghton. Uh, Michigan Tech campus is in there and there were a couple flurries earlier but now a hint of sunshine. Temperatures are cool. Uh, there's a cold front kind of settling across the area now. That's going to set the stage for tomorrow. We have some snow showers on the way. So tomorrow evening into early parts of Wednesday probably a one to three inch snowfall. Then we should clear out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Some signs now toward Sunday. There could be another snow system around here on Sunday. We'll see that still several days away. Way, so. so snow around showtime yeah, tomorrow, you think? And, yeah, <laughs> and it's spring though. Let's embrace it. Everybody just give it a hug. We keep here. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. We'll see you back here at 10. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Rhinelander Cafe and Pub. Hey, I'm glad you're here because all this week in the Test Kitchen, we're taking a tasty trip around the globe. To start things off, today we're whipping up a recipe from Eastern Europe. It's pretty obvious what it is. Pierogies. The 